a local nonprofit calling on people to step up and be a voice for children in foster care. It's called CASA of Northwest Arkansas, and its mission is to connect children with compassionate volunteers who will advocate for them. KWA's Gabriella Phelan talked with CASA leaders today, and uh, Gabriella, they tell you this time of year is crucial, and they really need volunteers. Doug, that's right. When back to school season begins, CASA says they usually see an uptick in the amount of child abuse and neglect cases. Currently, 450 children are in foster care in Northwest Arkansas, but they are preparing for that number to grow. At the end of each summer, children across the region head back to school and are under the eyes of mandatory reporters, also known as their teachers. CASA of Northwest Arkansas, an organization that works to help children in foster care, says that's when the reports start coming in. Children coming into foster care um, by reports being made, so any mandatory reporters can report um, abuse and neglect that they see. Currently, there are 450 children in foster care in Northwest Arkansas, but in 2023, CASA served over 700. Courtney Voigt with CASA says they see a spike at this time every single year, and it's something the organization strategically prepares for. Historically, we see a spike in the number of children entering foster care um, in August, September, and October, and so our goal is really to be prepared with volunteers. But as more children enter into foster care, CASA's need for helping hands grows as well. Voigt says the volunteers wear many different hats, but their biggest goal is to be the child's voice. Our whole goal is to advocate for them in the court system. That's like our number one goal. Um, so we write court reports that our judges read and then recommendations um, that these kids need. Rachel Carlton works directly with the volunteers at CASA. She says it's not an easy job, but it's certainly a rewarding one. There was a child that needed glasses. Hers, she had broken hers and um, it went on for nine months. And that advocate was weekly reminding everyone, hey, she needs glasses really needs glasses and she got glasses so that was that wouldn't have been done without her and Voight shares that same feeling I just heard from one of our volunteers they're like I showed up for my monthly visit and I finally got a hug from her kit from my kiddo um, they were excited to see me and they know that I'm here for them CASA is holding an event for potential volunteers to familiarize themselves with the organization we'll have more information on our website knwa.com live in studio Gabriella Phelan KNWA Northwest Arkansas News all right keeping you